Hey guys, today I'll be teaching you how to do the Sarah's Advanced Method on the SKU. Before you learn this method, you should be familiar with the Sarah's Intermediate Method on the SKU and know how to do it. Also, all the cases will be done with yellow top. I'm going to go over all the last three, last four, and last five center cases right now because they're going to be used later in the video for some of the cases. So starting off, this is just a U-perm. I'm pretty sure all of you already know this, but if you don't, just hold the opposite center in front and just do a sledge. Y2 sledge. This is a Z perm. It's where you have uh, no opposite centers, and basically what you want to do is hold it so there's four unique colors here and here, and then just do R L prime U prime L pr L U L R L prime R. Um, you probably already know this alloc, but if you don't, you can just search it up for a more in-depth description of it. So this is H perm. It's where you have uh, all opposite centers, and basically what you want to do, hold it from any angle, do a sledge, y2, hedge, y2, sledge. So these two cases you might be less familiar with, they're called the O-perm, and basically it's when they cycle like this, or counterclockwise in a circle. So this is clockwise, this is counterclockwise, and basically what you want to do is treat it like a pseudo U-perm. So basically you want to move the U-center, to the back, and then just do the U-perm, and then just undo that move. So for this one, same thing, look at the, find the U-center, which is yellow in this case, and then you just want to turn it up like this, so it's like a U-perm, do the U-perm, and then undo that setup move. So next on to the last four center cases, uh, this is a triple sledge, and this is where these two centers swap with each other, and these two centers swap with each other, and then all you do is three sledgehammers. So these cases are just pseudo triple sledge cases, and it's where you have these two swap and these two swap, or these two swap and these two swap, and a solve center at the back. And basically, if you have these two swap, what you want to do is do a F prime, like that, so this center matches with the corner, and then just do a triple sledge, like this. And then here, you just want to, if these two are swapping, you want to do a F move instead, and then just do a triple sledge, and then undo that move. So for next, on to L5, last five centers. Basically, um, this case is where you have uh, these two centers are opposites, and then all the other centers are just adjacent. And basically, you want to hold the two opposite centers in the front and the left, do a U-perm, and then you're left with a U-perm. So for, and then another L5C case is where you only have one opposite center, and then all the other centers are just adjacent. And basically what you want to do is hold the U-center in the back, do a U-perm, and then you're left with a U-perm. So the last L5C case is where you have no opposites or no solved centers, and basically what you want to do is hold the U-center at the back, do a U-perm, and then you're left with a Z-perm. So this first case you should already know from the series intermediate method. It's just a pie case with a sledgehammer or a hedge slammer. And then these two centers swap, and then these two centers swap. So here, if it's an uh, arrow like this, you do a sledgehammer. And if it's arrow like this, you do a hedge slammer. So these next two cases are pure pie and pure peanut. This is where you have pure pie, which is when you have a pie case and the center's on top, but then pure pie is where you have all the centers solved. Pure peanut is where you have peanut but with the center on top and you have all the centers solved. So for pure pie, you just do hold the headlights on the left and do a double sledgehammer. And then for pure peanut, you hold the stickers like this and then you do a double sledge, you do a Y prime and then another double sledge. So the next case is the H perm skip case. Uh, you probably know it already, but if you don't, it's when you have a sledge or a hedge and then these two centers are solved. So instead of just doing a sledge here, you'll get an H perm, which is not good. So you want to cancel into the H perm. So instead of doing the sledge here, do a Y2, do the sledge here, rotate back, and then you'll be left with a hedge. For this case, you have a hedge. So instead of doing the hedge here, do a Y2, do the hedge here, Y2 back, and then you'll be left with a sledge. 
So these next cases are just sledge or hedge into uperm. Uh, you just do it the same way as you do it for intermediate. So, but basically you want to predict the uperm. So basically a, sl a sledge swaps these two centers. So if the green goes here and the red goes here, the red will be solved. Then the blue would come down here, which would be opposite of the green. So you know it, it'll be a uperm going this way. So you can do a sledge, then it goes straight into the uperm. Uh, for this case, just a hedge, and then you see that there's a solve center here. So when it comes over here, it'll be opposite. Then when this comes down, it'll be solved. So it'll be a uperm going like that. So you can just do a hedge, and then the uperm's over here. So yeah, you just basically do it like intermediate. So the next case is when you have category 2 peanut which is just peanut and the center is not on the top. And then you have two opposite centers like this, kind of looks like half an H perm. And then basically what you want to do is make sure you're not holding the U center on the front or the back. Make sure it's on one of the sides. And then make sure the opposite centers are not on the front. So if you follow that, it should look like this. So the U center is on the right, the opposite centers are on the left and back. And then you can just do intermediate from this angle. So for, for this case, it would be a sledge and then a sledge and for here I see that the U center is on the left which is fine then these two opposite centers I make sure none of them are on the front which is also fine so then I'll do a hedge and then I hedge to solve it so the next case is when you have pure peanut and then there's one opposite center and no other centers are solved or opposite so like this and basically what you want to do is just hold the opposite center in the back and just do intermediate. And then you'll just get a U-perm. So another example is like this. I see that I have pure, uh, not pure peanut, category 2 peanut. And I have one opposite center. So I want to hold the opposite center in the back. And just do intermediate. And I'll be left with a U-perm. So the next case is where you have category 2 peanut, again, and when you have no opposite centers, no solved centers, so like this, and basically all you have to do is just do intermediate from whatever angle you want, probably just make sure you're doing it from the best angle. So like here, it's better to do a sledge and then a hedge, than to do a hedge and then a hedge. So here I would just do a sledge and then a hedge. And then I'll just have a U-perm left. Again, for this case, uh, there's no opposite, no solved centers. So I'll just do intermediate and then U-perm. So the next case is where you have category 2 peanut and where you have a solved center and none of the other centers are solved or opposite. So basically what you want to do is hold the solved center at the back and just do intermediate. So here I'll do a hedge and a sledge, and I'll be left with a U-term. Uh, here, I have the solve center here, so I'll hold it in the back. Here I'll just do a hedge, hedge, and I'll be left with a U-perm. So here we have category 2 peanut, and we have these two centers solved, and the other centers are not solved or opposite. So we have these two centers solved, none of the other ones are solved or opposite. So basically what you want to do is you want to do intermediate, but basically when you have these two solved centers and you do intermediate, you'll see you'll be left with an H-perm skip. So you'll know that this intermediate case is solved with a hedge and then a sledge. But then if you know that it's going to be an H-perm skip from here, so you, you just want to do a hedge and then rotate here instead do the sledge, rotate back, and then hedge. So if that was a little confusing, I'll show you another example. So you have these two centers solved. Make sure to hold them in the back and the right. You want to do a... So you, you know intermediate here is solved with a sledge and then a hedge. So instead of doing sledge, hedge, you want to do sledge and then hedge here because this is an H-perm skip. So sledge, here, hedge, here, sledge. If you're confused about any of these cases, just let me know in the comments. So the next case we have is category 2 peanut again, 
and this time we have these two centers solved. So it's kind of like an H perm skip, except it's not just one sledge. And basically what you want to do here is just do intermediate from any angle, so head sledge, and I'll be left with a U perm. For the, this case, I'll just do a sledge sledge, and I'll be left with a U perm. I definitely recommend learning the NS alloc for this case though, because it saves a lot of time, and it's really easy to memorize. The next case is where you have category 2 peanut, and these two centers are opposites, um, like this, instead of being solved like the last case. And basically, what you want to see is, if so for these two cases, there's no uh, corner attached to the U center. And basically how you recognize these cases um, is if the top corner is facing up, or if the yellow sticker is facing up, then what you want to do is a hedge slammer, and you'll be left with pure pie. And then if the um, top color sticker is facing the left, you want to do a sledgehammer, and then you'll be left with pure pie. So this is like a slight variation of the case we just looked at. It's also where you have these two centers opposite, and then the back one is solved. But this time, there is a sticker attached to the U center. So like that. And basically, you want to cover up, imagine that it's only this, and it'll be a sledge to solve if it was just one sledgehammer or one hedge slammer. If you cover these up, it'll look like a hedge. So basically what you want to do is if, if it looks like a sledge, instead you want to do a hedge, and you'll be left with pure pie. And then here, it's a hedge, so then instead you want to do a sledge, and you'll be left with pure pie. So next on to pure pie plus U-perm. Basically what you want to do is hold the opposite center at the back, and then just do intermediate. Um, so basically, if you're confused on how to do a, if you want to do a sledge or a hedge here, it'll just, uh, you'll just get better at it with time and solves. So here, I see that I want to do a sledge, and you always want to rotate towards where the solve center is. So the solve center is here, so keep that in mind. So I'm gonna do a sledge, rotate here, and then just finish off the intermediate alg. So hedge, hedge. And here, I also want to do a sledge. And then, basically, I want to rotate to, th to this side, because the solve center is here. So I'm just going to do a sledge, rotate here, and just finish off the intermediate case. So these next two cases are probably the worst cases out of all the advanced cases. It's pure peanut plus H perm, and pure peanut plus Z perm. So basically, what I do for uh, this case is I hold it like this. I do a hedge, sledge, sledge into U-perm. For pure peanut plus Z-perm, I do the same thing. Hedge, sledge, sledge, into U-perm. So these next two cases uh, are category 2 pi cases, and basically you have one solve center here, and none of the other centers are opposite or matching, and basically you want to hold the solve center at the back, or sorry, not the solve center, the U-center at the back, and then you want to do a sledge, and then rotate towards the solve center. So a sledge, rotate towards the solve center, and you'll see that we're just left with a two sledge case. Again, here we have one solve center, none of the other centers are matching or opposite. So we want to hold the U center at the back, do a sledge, and then we're left with a simple two sledge peanut case. So this next case is pretty garbage. But basically, it's uh, pi, and then you have no opposite centers or no solved centers. So basically, what you want to do is look at the top, and make sure you're holding the headlights on the right or left side. And look at the top, find the sticker that matches with the center. So if it's like this, and it's pointing down to the left, it's a hedge. If it's pointing down to the right, it's a sledge. And basically, what you want to do... So you do a hedge, then you want to rotate like this as a Y2, and then you're left with this uh, Z perm conjugate, which I showed earlier in the video. So you want to match it like that, do this. And here, you have pure pi, I mean not pure pi, pi, like the same case, and except this time the center is matching with these two stickers, and basically you see that this is going down to the right, so you want to do a sledgehammer, 
then white two, and you're left with one of the conjugates. So this next case is by far my least favorite case out of all the advanced cases. It's a very bad case. So it's pi, and then you have one opposite center. So opposite center here or here. And then the rest of the centers are neither solved nor opposite. So basically what you want to do is hold the U center in the back, and then do a sledge, and then you're left with this OK peanut plus uh, H perm skip case. So I'll just do a hedge, then H perm skip here, so a hedge, and then a sledge. For this case, uh, hold the opposite center here, make sure to hold the U center in the back, do a sledge, and then you're left with this peanut plus H perm skip case. So sledge, and the hedge is here, so instead do it here, and then like that. So for the next case, you have uh, category 2 pi, but this time there's two opposite centers, kind of like half an H perm. And basically what you want to do is hold them, one on the back, one on the side, and then if the headlights are on the right, you do a sledge, and then you're left with a triple sledge. Here, um, make sure one is on the back, one is on the side. If the headlights are on the left, do a hedge, and then you're left with a triple sledge. Okay, so the next case is just like the other case, except instead of having two opposite centers, you have two solved centers. Basically, you want to hold it the same exact way, one in the back, one on the side. And if the headlights are on the right, you want to do a sledgehammer, and then you're left with a U perm. If the headlights are on the left, one is on the back, one is on the side. You want to do a hedge and a U perm. So the next case is category 2 pi, and then these two centers are matching, and then this one is opposite. And basically what you want to do is hold the U center at the back, and then you want to do a U perm, and then you're left with pure pi. So here, hold the U center at the back, U perm, and then you're left with pure pi. So the next case is when you have a category 2 pi and then one solved center at the back, and then instead of these two centers being solved, they're uh, opposites. So basically what you want to do is hold the U center at the front, and then do a sledge, and then you'll be left with pure peanut. Again here, you hold the solid center at the back, U center at the front, the two opposite centers are here, sledge, and then just left with pure peanut. So next on to the pure pie cases. This is good pure pie plus U perm, and basically you have the pure pie, and then the opposite center from the U perm is either uh, on the same side as the headlights or on the the opposite side of the headlights. And basically what you want to do is hold the opposite center at the back, do a sledge, and then before we do the sledge, always remember to rotate towards the solved center. So the solved center is here, so after the sledge, I'm going to rotate here, and then just solve this intermediate case with sledge, sledge. Uh, here, hold the opposite center at the back, always remember to rotate towards the solved center, so sledge here, and then this is solved with the hedge, sledge, so hedge, sledge. Just like that. So this case is pure pi, bad pure pi plus U perm, and basically it has to be solved in four sledges, not just three. And most of you probably already know this, but pure pi preserves all the centers. So basically here, for this pure pi plus U perm, I see that it's a U perm like this. So after the pure pi, I'm just going to rotate and do the U perm from here. So just pure pi straight into U perm. For this case, it's basically the same thing. I see that the U perm is going this way, so I'm going to do the pure pi, and then go straight into the U perm. So the last two cases are pure pi plus Z perm and pure pi plus H perm. So for pure pi plus Z perm, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just do pure pi, and then it preserves all the centers. So just go straight into your Z perm. So here the Z perm is over here, so I'll just do pure pi straight into Z perm. So pure pi straight into Z perm. Here, uh, pure pi plus H perm is a little less self-explanatory. Basically, what you want to do is hold the headlights on the right instead of the left. 
Then do a sledgehammer, Y2, and then U-Pern. And yeah, that's it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this helped you learn Series Advanced. If I miss any cases, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to help you. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.